Um, let's see. That actually does change our bands of DSAM out. Um, we're not ready yet. Oh, we ended this. I don't have to worry about okay. silence as I was much. Now. Spectator. Seems to be live, and we are all set. Current game is Trine versus Ohio Northern, with Trine starting on the blue side and ONU on the red side. Currently waiting on both teams to ready up, and we will get right into it. Try and we'll start off with the first ban of the game, Graves. Oh, and you were responding with the Pantheon. Next bans will be Lucian and Yumi. Trine will respond with the Silas, and the first three for O and U will be Pantheon, Yumi, and Zaya. Trine will first pick the Seraphine for a flex pick, as it can be played in the support lane and also in the mid lane, if desired. Oh, and you picking up the Zerath and the Talon. So we see the possible mid laner and jungler for Owen Yu currently. Trine picking up the Volley Bear for the jungle k against the Talon. And they will also be picking up the Ash Seraphine. Oh, and you responding with the Jin pick for their AD carry. Trine still does have the opportunity to flex the Seraphine mid if desired, but. Uh, Northern hovering the Shen, picking the Nar for the top lane.
Try and we'll ban away the Wukong. We'll see how Owen Yu responds. Oh, and you last pick ban will be the Orn. <coughs> Trying to sign on what to ban. And Trine will ban away the Camille. The Camille ban or Trine. It was a little bit late, but the Camille ban for the final ban. Oh, and you're going to pick up the Vex. Vex is very strong. If she gets ahead early, she can definitely snowball very easily. Trying to pick up the Vladimir, so it will be a Ash Seraphine bot lane. And most likely the Vladimir against the Vex with the Jin Zareth bot lane on ONU side. Try and final pick. be the Ziggs. So we actually might see the Vladimir top lane with the Ziggs. Actually, I just got worded that it has a Tom Kench instead of a Ziggs pick because they cannot pick the Tom Kench fast enough. <laughs> so it is going to be a Tom Kench instead of the Ziggs. Trine does not know how to pick bands or picks. Oni will respond with the Quinn. <coughs> Waiting on both teams to get into game. right into it. Now there will also be a three minute timer after this just for the spectator view. So we will be waiting a little bit longer than the pick ban phase for the client. Both teams just going to ban away their dance and pick their champions, and the game will start soon. You don't have the heart of this. You are the dark person, huh? You can't cage me for long. Both teams just picking their champions currently while waiting for the game to start. Tom Kench against the Quinn in the top lane. Definitely going to be an interesting match. <coughs> the Volibear versus the Talon, with Talon being very strong in this current patch in the jungle. 
Also, the Vex pick is very interesting. I'm excited to see how that could fare against the Vladimir from Black Mamba. Who questions my ability? Both teams just picking up their 80 carries and supports currently. The Ash Seraphine versus the Jin Zarath bot lane. And as the clock does come down to zero, again, there will be a three minute timer in between, so we will have to wait a little bit longer. And then we will hop right into it. Currently 30 seconds left as the timer comes down to zero and we will get right into this game.
gonna hop right into this game. Looking like Trine might try for an invade in the top lane as it starts off. <coughs> Onyu is going to just do a 5 point. Trine looking to get some type of engage onto this Quinn possibly. Quinn spotting them out. But they will spot the ward and the ward does go down so that is vision control. Luckily, Quinn walks away and both teams back off. Oh, and you does spot four members of Trine here, though. When you're looking to respond on possibly the red buff. Trying to get a little cheese in between. Possible fight coming to here. Volibear doesn't know. Starting off a lot of damage onto the Volibear. Volibear getting really low. Able to flash away. Jin has the fourth shot, so if he would walk back up, that would be a kill for Volibear. Although, Volibear's flash does still go down, forcing him to start in his blue buff. Very good for Owen Yu start. Tom Kench gets Quinn, getting a little bit of damage off. Quinn able to just dash and E away. Although Tom Kench might want more. Just getting a look Q off of there. And Tom Kench trying to just harass his Quinn in the top lane. Looks like the Xerath getting a little bit of poke into their bot lane up from Trine. <coughs> Tom Kench looking to get some little bit more poke onto this Quinn, trying to get even. Although the bot lane from ONU creating a lot of pressure onto the Trine side, pushing in the wave a little bit. Although Xerath does get stunned away, taking a lot of damage. Xerath getting exhausted immediately, has to flash away. Ash flashing forward, and it, First Blood will go onto the Seraphine. Xerath stepped up just a little bit too far in that last play, getting definitely punished for it. And that is First Blood for Trine. Very good response from trying to recognize that step up a little bit too far. Although there potentially might be a, a skirmish in the river. Although Scuttle does go towards O and U. 3v2 currently with Vex on the backside getting a lot of damage onto the Volibear. Volibear no flash and will go down to the Talon. Vladimir looking to just walk away, getting a little bit of damage onto this. A little bit of lag onto the Talon. Vlad Vladimir flashing forward, does not get the kill though. Will taking a lot of damage from the Vex and Jin will pick up the kill. Although Ash getting stunned away and just immediately stun locked. And uh, tons of damage coming through from Onyu. Just to finish off that Ash. She was going nowhere in that last fight.
just a farm lane in the top lane, although with Tom Kench being half health, it is a little bit dangerous for him to be up there. But if, as long as he can just farm relatively close to his turret, he will be perfectly fine. One new spot lane being a little bit aggressive, trying to get that poke damage off. Seraph looking for stun, but trying to able just to walk away. And in the mid lane is a battle for vision control. Though there is a gank top lane, Volibear might get a possible stun off. Quinn able just to E away. Forcing Volibear to back. Good realization from the Quinn to recognize the Volibear stun. And as the talent is coming down to the spot lane, there could be a potential turret dive as the bot lane from ONU is pushing under the turret. Talon is here. Talon potentially looking under, under the Seraphine. Seraphine getting really low, and Talon will pick up that final kill. Talon does get really low, but Ash also getting very low. Able to dodge the Xerath Q. Volibear coming in on the back line. Just push the Talon off away, and it will be one for zero for the ONU. Talon able just to wall jump away. In the mid lane getting a little bit of poke damage off on both of each other. Potentially looking for a mid lane, <laughs> mid lane gank here. Although there is a pink ward. By the way, flash Q is getting the stun off, and that is just a lot of damage immediately. Vladimir able to pick up that final kill. And that's another kill back for trying. Tom Kench getting really low here, although he does still have his his shield off of his E to regain health from. Although I could see a potential gank here on the top lane onto this Quinn, as Quinn is getting pinched from all sides. Getting a little bit of damage off. Quinn having to flash away. Seraphine does not have ult, so Quinn should be able to get out here as the Vex is coming in from behind her. Good flash from the Quinn. Able to get away. And Owen Yu will respond by getting Dragon as they recognize the Volibear on the top lane. And first Dragon goes to Owen Yu. Talon looking to just to invade and get even further ahead as he already is 2-0. and Also looking to gank this bot lane. Potential, and there will be a, wow, Seraphine just goes down immediately. TP coming in from the Tom Kench. Able to get Ash out of there. And the four man bot lane. Although Tom Kench will just go down immediately, not even able to press his E to get his shield back. Ash getting very low. There's another skirmish in this mid lane. Putting a lot of damage onto the Vladimir, forcing the Trine team to back away. Another successful tower dive from ONU. Current score 2 2 6 with the Jin having half of the kills 
from O and U, which will be a huge bonus for him. Seraphine still not being level 6 in that last fight. Might have turned the tables a little bit. Aziz Zeref, opposite of him, did hit the level 6. Seraphine ult could have turned the tables in that last fight. Although the bot lane from ONU is just able to be super aggressive now as they are up 3 kills. In the bot lane. Could be a potential tower dive onto the ONU bot lane as we see both the Volibear and the Vladimir coming in from the jungle. Although there's also a counter gank onto the top lane from ta And as we see in the spot lane, the Volibear able just to ult the turret and secure that kill onto the Jin shutdown going onto the Volibear. Vex ult coming in onto the Seraphine. Seraphine goes down immediately, although Vex has no mana left and goes down to the Ash. Ash getting very low, although Vladimir coming in from the backside of the turret. And looks like we'll go down to the Zerath. As Zerath hits his stun. And TP coming in from the Vex as she's most likely able to pick up two more kills here. Indeed. Very good for ONU. Trying getting super unlucky. Seraphine getting caught out with the E. And Seraphine will just go down immediately to the Zerath and the Jin. <laughs> A little temptual engage onto the Tom Kench. Tom Kench able just to jump away with his W and able to just get out. Top catch getting very low, having to fla having to force the E out, and will go down to the Quinn as she just walks towards him. Quinn forced to ignite though, but will secure the kill on the Tom Kench. Quinn able to get a lot of turret plating from this top turret as well. Seraphine and this Ash both very scared of the Zerath in the bush, knowing he's in one of these bushes. As the Zerath can just do a lot of damage and get his stun off quite easily. And Seraphine will get stun locked. Although Ash responding with an ult onto the Jin. Ash doing a lot of damage. Flat Volibear coming in, flashing onto the Jin. Jin going down in the process, although Talon and Quinn just forcing the kill onto the Ash as Ash will go down in the process. Vex coming in with ult and Vex doing a lot of damage. Volibear having to force his ult away, although catching the Vex out under the turret. Vlad looking to pick up any 
straight kills here. And Vlad taking a lot of damage. And most likely Vlad will go down here as well. Sixteen to six, Owen you. Trying looking to get something in this top lane, although the Jin has come top lane. Stop that push from the Tom Kench. Able to push him off. And it is not looking good for trying, although Tom Kench looking to go in onto the Jin. Ulting the Jin, getting a lot of damage off, although not enough to take the Jin out as Jin will Gale Force away. Securing the kill on Tom Kench. Another kill onto the Jin. We see the gold charts here. Then the top lane. Quinn up around a thousand gold, thousand three hundred. In the jungle, we can see up around two thousand for the Talon. And up around 500 gold in the mid lane, not too much, but definitely enough to still make a difference. And as we can see a possible engage, Vex coming in, oh, onto the Seraphine, Seraphine going down, but Ash will try to respond onto the Quinn, Quinn being able to take out the Ash. And that is a 2 for O. Oh. For O and U. Although looking to engage onto the Tom Kench, Quinn coming in from the side, and able to get a lot of damage onto the Tom Kench, but Tom Kench able to get away. With his W. And Volibear taking a lot of damage from the Jin and Zerath. And Jin just having the Gale Force forward and securing the kill onto the Volibear. And it is not looking good for Trine. Second Drake does also go on to ONU. So currently ONU, two Drakes, the Infernal and Cloud. Trying desperately, trying to hold on to this game. As we can see the Trine team signaling the Volibear to not even go into his jungle at this point. Volibear not able to get even get anything as he's the talent is very strong. <coughs> we see the gold charts again. As I said before, the mid laner on ONU up around five hundred gold and the support up around uh, 3,000 gold. Support up around also 2,000 gold. And as I'm talking about the gold values, Tom Kench just going down immediately to the Quinn, Jin, and Zerath. Just so much damage coming through on these three. Although, engage onto the Vladimir. Vladimir taking a lot of damage, having to ult onto both members, the Talon and the Quinn, although Vladimir looking to get out. Vladimir will go down in the process, but Owen Yu looking to respond on all members of Trine. And that is a 1 4 5. Owen Yu looking in a very good position to win this game. New engage on the Tom Kench again, trying to turret dive potentially. <laughs> and Talon will go down as he tries to turret dive the Tom Kench. A little bit greedy from the Talon, but. He wanted to try it. We see Ocean Drake next up spawning, as it will be Ocean Soul.
Vladimir potentially getting spotted out here. Jin able to pick up Jin's Earth. Both able to pick up a couple of those creeps from the Krugs. Trying just looking to get any type of vision in their own jungle. And Owen Yu will just start up this Drake, taking it down almost immediately. <coughs> Not even needing the Talon. And Owen Yu potentially looking for a split push onto this bot lane as well. Looking to engage onto the Ash. Ash able to just walk away. About a quarter of her health left though. Tom Kench does get the top plane turret. Although Vladimir taking a lot of damage, forcing out his W. Zareth will flash forward and does not finish the kill. Tom Kench looking to engage onto the, the Talon. Looking to engage onto, onto the Jin. Jin will finish the Vladimir and Talon will finish the Ash in the process. All members of Trine just trying to get away, trying to do anything in this fight. Vladimir f going forward, killing one member but dying in the process. And it is a one for four for Owen Yu. The last member as C. Seraphine up. Owen Yu able just to get both two inhibs currently. Vex getting a little bit greedy. She, if she could get caught out there, that would be good for Trine. Although I don't know how much of a difference it would make currently, as Owen Yu is just so far ahead in this game. Nine to twenty-nine, Owen Yu. Could see a potential cheese, although the Vex and the Zerath do get spotted out on a ward. Tom Kench aware of this. And Trine just trying to push out their lanes. Tom Kench does DP top as three members of ONU were on Baron. Does force the members away. Tom Kench trying to engage onto the Quinn. Although it is currently a 2v1 with Quinn and Jin against the Tom Kench. Tom Kench having to flash away, getting stunned by Jin W. Jim having fourth shot, doing so much damage, and the Quinn will finish the kill. Looking like all members of ONU. At least four members currently are going to start the Baron. And will be able to secure it. On you now looking just to end the game most likely as their Baron empowered minions will be huge against Trine. Looking for this Baron power play. Looking up Talon, looking to push onto this top lane. Trying to get the last turret of the outer three. <laughs> Ash taking a lot of damage, getting stunned out. Ash potentially going down here. Ash taking a lot of damage, does go down to the Jin ult. Seraphine following the same fate. And all members of Trine are just taking so much damage as Own You just has so much damage in the Quinn. And two members of Owen Yu will try to flash and finish off the Volibear. They do succeed. And Owen Yu will end the game. Owen Yu wins the first game of the series.
35 to 11, own you. <coughs> own you bot lane, definitely having that advantage as the Jin just got super fed in the early game, along with the Talon in the jungle. Just able to snowball off into all other lanes. As we can see, the Zerath actually doing the most damage as the support. And as we head into our next game, it's looking like Trine will be on the red side to start with. As we head into this next game, current series 1-0 for ONU. We will see that Trine is on the red side on you taking the blue side as we get start to get into this pick ban phase. Both teams waiting to ready up. And both teams taking a short little break in between both games, waiting just on them to ready up.
Ban starting off with the pick ban phase. Owen Yu starting off with the Volley Bear. Trine will return with the Graves. And Owen Yu does pick up the Pantheon again. Trine will respond with the Lucian. Owen Yu again banning away the Yumi. And Trine banning away the Vex for the round three. Owen Yu does pick up Zaya in the first round. Owen Yu showing their 80 carry immediately. Which is expected. Trine responding with the Caitlyn pickup and the Caitlyn Thresh lane. Oh, and you will respond with the Nami for support. So you can see both teams' bot lanes here. Oh, and you picking up the Lux for the mid lane also, leaving Trine with a potential counter pick for the mid lane. And Tron will pick up the Yone in the mid. Back to banning phase. Tron will ban away the top lane Wukong. Oh, and you does respond with the Orn ban again. <coughs> and Tron will ban away the Talon from the jungle last game. And Owen who will respond with less banning Trundle. <coughs> Trine most likely looking to pick up the jungle here. Leaving the top lane for Owen you. Trying to pick up the Amumu, leaving the top lane counter pick for Trine. On you picking the Camille in the top lane. And jungle pick for On you will be the Rek'Sai jungle. Definitely an interesting pick. I haven't seen too much Rek'Sai being played, but this could be a good pick against the Amubu as Rek'Sai can go underneath ground. Although it can still get cancelled out of it. <laughs> Trying picking up the Aurelia top lane into the Camille. And as we see the picks and bans, we will start to head over into the client. And the game will soon commence. You have the heart of a weakling.
questions my ability. The top lane matchup, the Camille against the Irelia. In the jungle is going to be Rek'Sai against Amumu. Lux against the Yone in the mid lane. Zaya and Nami bot lane for ONU. And the Caitlyn Thresh on Trine side. Now as the same like last game. There will be a three minute timer after the clock does hit zero, so there will be a little bit more of a wait. As there's 30 seconds coming down on the timer before we get into this game. And then we will get into the second game of this three game series. Oh, and you will be looking to finish this game and win the series. Although, hopefully, Trine can take them to game three and win this one. Hopefully, we get to see a game three. And we will get right into this one.
try and looking for another potential invade early. Going through the middle river, it looks like. Although it looks like, not really sure as four members, three members of ONU are he actually here. Skirmish starting off, gauging onto the, onto the Yon. And Yon will go down to ONU. Excuse me. ONU does the engaging first. Although Nami flashing forward, trying to hit the Q onto the Caitlyn. Caitlyn able, able to just easily sidestep and walk away with her life. First blood going on to the Kaisa. Kaisa. The Although, trying potentially to look to engage onto this Camille. Camille getting stunned by the Amumu. Another Mubu stun coming through. And a second kill in this game will go on to the Irelia top lane against the Camille. Camille will be forced to TP top lane as well. And Zaya able to back with that first blood. Garb another long sword, getting that little bit of damage extra early. damage coming through from the Yon onto this Lux. Lux is getting very low in fact. And bot lane just farming it out. Rek'Sai looking to possibly tower dive if Owen you can't push this lane. Rek'Sai backing away, although the Caitlyn does get knocked into as she ease backwards into the Nami Q. Caitlyn will go down to the Nami to burn from the ignite. Another Q onto the Owen U bot lane. Little skirmish in the top lane. Camille able to get some nice damage onto the Irelia. Camille fighting inside of the wave, but looks like flash coming through from the Camille. Irelia having to flash away. Also another engage onto the Lux, although Yon doesn't realize that there is a Rek'Sai there. Rek'Sai able to knock him up. And get that little bit of counter damage onto the Yon. Both of the is very low. Both able to get out with their lives. Although we could see something happening in this top lane jungle into the river. Let's try and just spot out the Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai looking to go again mid. Rek'Sai flashing, getting the knock up, and Yon will go down to the Lux. Another kill for Owen Yu. Mumu going in the top lane, but not getting anything off of it. Just getting a little bit of stun, trying to assert dominance, making her back. Loving. The try and top lane to just farm. Oh. On you bot lane looking to fight. As Thresh is a little bit low. And both Owen U's bot laners are level four compared to the level three. Thresh getting caught out with Nami Q taking a lot of damage from Zaya. 
We'll be able to just walk away. Although Caitlyn's suffering the same fate. Also the Yone coming in from the back line. Looking to gank this lane as it is a very good gank potential. Although Zaya able to just get that kill onto the Caitlyn. And Thresh going down in the process as well. Yone able to trade back at least one of those kills. Two for one for Onyo. Looking to engage onto this Emil top lane. 2v2 potential. I really taking a lot of damage. Going to go down to the Camille in the process. Lux able to do a lot of damage through her combo onto the young. Possible turret dive as Rek'Sai is level 6 compared to the level 4 from the Amumu. Rek'Sai ult coming through does get to secure the kill, but will go down in the process to the Irelia. Yon also looking to engage onto the Camille in the top lane. We'll engage onto the Camille. Camille able to just E and dash away. Thresh looking for a potential hook onto the Zaya. Oh, and you bot lane able to dodge. Side looking to take Dragon at this point as well. As it should be free for him as Amumu is on the top lane and there is no vision inside the Dragon Pit. On you bot lane looking to get a little bit of damage onto the Thresh taking him down to half health. Zaya being very strong at this point with the Lethality item from the Serrated Dirk. Try and bot lane both, half health, although potential gank onto this Yon. Yon able just to walk away as both the Lux and Ruxai cannot catch up to him. Caitlyn getting very low though from the Zaya. Zaya doing a lot of damage, pulling her feathers back into her. Another potential for a kill into the top lane. Ruxai having to Having to ult, but goes down in the process to the Aurelia. <coughs> Yon trying to get something onto this Lux as well, and Lux will go down in the process. Although Yon getting stuck under turret, taking a lot of damage in fact. Going down in the process, Lux able to get the kill back onto the Yon, and Aurelia having to flash away from the Camille in order to survive. And we'll go down in the process from the Camille ult as I really just get stuck inside. <laughs> 10 to 5 currently. Owen you up. And the Amumu here just looking to clear the wave as fast as possible and try to get the Camille to get stunned under turret, although. Does not succeed. Camille is able to dash away. Dash looking to get in here mid lane, although it does get spotted on a control ward. Maxi also in the mid lane. Potentially looking for something onto the Yon. He knows he's there. Rek'Sai not being able to hit anything, we'll just walk away and Yon 
gets out safely. Looks like looking to just clear the vision here. Doesn't want to engage. The Thresh looking to possibly engage onto the Zai. Zai will just sidestep the hook from Thresh. Camille versus I really in top lane. I really taking a lot of damage. In fact, half health already. Camille doing a lot with having the Executioner's Blade for the Irelia, not being allow her to life steal at all. The Rek'Sai looking onto this Amumu in the jungle. Rek'Sai does get spotted, although Thresh getting very low. Thresh having to flash away. Does get out, but cannot go back in as he's very low. Rek'Sai able to snag away the jungle from Trine. They're really taking a lot of damage, half health already in fact, to the you know, to the Camille. Really actually will just go down here. Camille doing a lot of damage, able just to walk away. Amubu having to flash away from the Zaya as well. Zaya starting to do a lot of damage with her Eclipse. And it will be a potential dive under the turret huh. although on you not wanting to commit just letting their carries farm and get the turret plating huh. Thresh getting very low having to walk away cannot walk back up Although Caitlyn getting caught out does get stuck and is just chain CC'd into her own death. Another kill pickup for own you. Amumu wanting to get them off of his turret but not able to do anything. Riftero does go down from the Rek'Sai, and Riftero will be able to take down that first turret in the mid lane. Oh, and you went in to get another charge off, and it will happen. Nami ult coming through, misses. Thresh hook does land onto the Nami. Nami having to flash away from the Amumu for fear of the ult. Caitlyn ult does come through also onto the Nami, but does not do any damage to her as the shielding is able to just to block it. <coughs> 12 to 5 currently. Look at the gold currently here. Camille up around 600 gold. Rek'Sai in the jungle up around 1,500. The mid lane is around even, but 500 gold up on the Lux. As you can see in the 80 carry roll, around 3,000 gold up on the Zaya. As also around 2,000 gold up onto the support. Zaya able to finish two items before Caitlyn can even finish one. Caitlyn is not going to be able to do very much in this game sadly as they shut her down quite hard potential dive onto this I really in the top lane I really looking to do something off trying to finish the wave although Camille looking to go under turret I really had just to go down immediately from the Nami ignite y'all looking to get some damage onto the Rex I Rex ulting and just able to kill the Yon. Very close fight, but Yon does go down in the process. Rek'Sai able just to finish Dragon. 
And that is the second dragon for on you. On you also just able to take out the outer turret on the top lane. Getting a lot of the objectives around the map. And there is the dragon slain for on you. Looking to be a little cheeky and try and get some damage off onto the Irelia. As the Lux does come in, Camille ult coming down. I really able to. to Irelia still going down in the process. Thresh as well going down, getting one shot by the Zaya. I know Mumu trying to clean up for the Irelia going down in the process to the Camille. Rexai in the bot lane taking on this Yone, doing a lot of damage to the Yone. Yone able just to walk away though. Zaya Blast comes over into the base. Looking for the Kaelin. Does not find. Yon taking a lot of damage. Rek'Sai ult coming through. We'll go down to the Rek'Sai ult. Kaelin ult trying to get a little bit of damage off. Does not kill the Rek'Sai. As there is not enough damage from the Kaelin. And an exposed inhibitor for Trine. Thresh getting stuck out and just to get one shot by the Lux as he gets rooted by the binding. Low was half health already. Zaya looking to engage onto the Caitlyn. Amumu able to lock her down, although Zaya ult coming through and will do a lot of damage onto the Amumu. Amumu going down in the process. to get one of the inhib one of the nexus turrets although I really ult does come through they're engaging onto the Nami Nami will go down in the process but Thresh does also go down one for one Yon getting stuck out will get killed by the Lux binding Camille looking to engage onto the I really again I really missing her stun Camille going on to the Caitlyn Caitlyn going down in the process to the Lux and O and U just for looking looking for everything across the map. Trying desperately stop trying to stop them from getting the Nexus turrets. Mumu taking a lot of damage though. And that is the second Nexus turret. Trying to get anything onto the Camille. Camille will go down in the process. Trying trying to stop the push. Yon, Yon ult coming through, able to shut down the Zaya with the Amumu ult. Caitlyn securing that kill. Trying looking just to push them off of their base and get a little bit more time. Twenty-five to eight. Everyone on O and U just so strong at this point. Thresh getting caught out with the binding. Thresh does try to go for a flash Q, misses, although we'll get stunned by the Nami Q and we'll go down to Lux and the Nami. Nami securing the kill. Onyu looking to push here, 4v4 currently, as Yon does get stuck out by the binding. We'll go down to the Lux ult in the process. Rek'Sai looking to engage onto the Caitlyn. Caitlyn, although goes to step inside of the Nexus, inside of the base. Going down to true damage. Trying again, looking to push them off of the base. Lux looking for something kind of pick with her binding. It's currently a 4v3. 
in favor of Trine, although I don't know if they have enough damage. And Onyu will just back away. Thresh getting caught out again by the Nami, and we'll go down to the Lux ult. Camille engaging onto the Aurelia. Aurelia ulting. Camille able just to walk away. Although Aurelia getting stuck by the Lux binding, and does go down to the Camille. Yon ulting onto the Camille. Camille able just to turn that easily onto the Yon, doing so much damage. And Camille getting a triple kill onto the Caitlyn as she is just doing so much damage. And it looks like game two will go down to ONU. And that will be the series as ONU does get the 2 0 victory. Looking at the second game, the Camille just doing so much damage in this game. Let's look at the actual damage charts. Looking to see the Zaya and Camille, as well as the Lux, just all doing so much damage compared to the Trine team. In the first game, the ONU bot and AD carry were able to carry. In this game, it looks like. It was the same. And that will be the series. Oh, and you 2-0 try.